Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Nadia Ian Sands and this is Learn How to Edit Stuff. Three exciting bits of news. Number one, I got a new camera, the Sony RX100 Mark V. It is beautiful. Number two, I stopped vaping, so I'm not gonna like die sooner or get lung cancer or whatever. And number three, today's lesson. I mean, I like After Effects. I know you guys like After Effects, so why not just do a little After Effects today, you know? I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that cool music video scribble effect that you may have seen in the What Do You Mean lyric video and also the Paramore Hard Times music video. Hard times. <laughs> Now, you don't necessarily have to use this effect in a music video. You guys can use it for whatever you want, whatever video you're doing. Use the knowledge that you learned in today's video to do your own cool thing, or just copy me if you want. I don't care, you know I don't care. This lesson, a little bit time consuming, but probably easier than you guys thought it would be, so open up After Effects, cause we're getting started. All right guys, I've got After Effects open and the first thing I'm gonna do is A, save my project and B, come up to Window Workspace and make sure that this is set to all panels because we want the paint and the brushes panel to be activated over here on the right hand side. Now, once you get your clip into After Effects that you wanna scribble onto, drop it onto a timeline and you're gonna just double click on the clip right down here which will open up that clip in a new tab. And then you're gonna come up here to this brush tool and you're gonna make sure that the brush tool is selected and then this will allow us to paint freely on our video. Now, if we come over here to paint and we just tool this down, uh, if yours doesn't look like this, you may only see this. You just have to drag this window down so you can see what the hell is going on down here. Now let's go through the paint panel first. You have opacity and flow, which are basically the same thing. Opacity is how much of it you can see through and flow is like how heavy it looks when you actually paint and they actually look super similar, but we're not gonna use either one of those today. We're gonna keep it at 100% on both. Right next to that, you have the color of the brush which is very self-explanatory. You've seen this in basically every other program ever made. And then we have the mode, which is your blend mode here. We're gonna keep it on normal for today's lesson, but you can play around with some of these. Uh, if you come down here to difference, uh, you can see that my color is selected blue here, but as I paint over certain colors and certain skin tones, it actually changes color. And that's what difference does, it's just the blend mode. So we're gonna keep that on normal. You have your channels, RGBA, RGB, and alpha. We're gonna keep it on RGBA and your duration. Now duration is the most important part of this panel. So if I come down here to constant and I draw something on here and I go over one frame or several frames, you'll see that the, the paint just stays where it is. And that's not what you want, that's not practical. If we come down here to right on, right on is very strange. So right on animates the paint onto your image depending on how fast or slow you actually draw it, which is weird, so check this out. If I just write this real fast and I scribble it and I go over one frame at a time, you'll see that that animation actually starts to animate and I can, I can play this. <laughs> Okay, that's, that's silly. And if I do it really ridiculously slow, it will animate ridiculously slow. And I don't know why that is even a function inside of After Effects. Okay, anyway, next one, single frame. A lot of people will probably tell you to use single frame and I disagree and I'm gonna show you why right now. Basically what I want for this animation is I want my glasses to just have an outline around it, a cool paint outline. So on single frame, if I start from here and I just kind of do my thing and then I go over, I don't know where exactly I'm starting from or where exactly I ended. So I just kind of have to guess. I'm like, ah, oh, maybe somewhere around here and then I ended right here and then I have to go back and forth like single frames at a time to see what the hell's going on. That's not practical, right? You don't, nobody wants to do that. So don't use single frame. Just get it out of your head. Single frame doesn't exist. What does exist is the custom frame mode. So if we come down here to duration and go to custom and we set this to two frames. Now check this out, ladies and gentlemen. What I want the animation to do is I want it to start from the glasses here and I'm gonna go over one frame and my animation actually will stay there for another frame. So I can take this and I know kind of where I started and where I ended. And then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to continue to trace the line that I have previously, but I'm gonna go a little bit farther every time. And this is giving me an exact point of where I started and where I ended in the last frame. So as I go over one frame each time, I know that I can extend this line and I can just keep the animation going without having to second guess myself on where it ended or where it started in the previous frame. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to continue to outline my glasses here frame by frame. And this is the part that it actually takes a little bit of time because you're, you are going frame by frame. So now that I've outlined my glasses one full time, I want the animation to now start later and later and later so the actual animation will complete a full circle. So I'm gonna go over one frame and instead of starting here like I was before, I'm gonna start from here. 
And then I'm gonna start from a little bit less. All right, let's check out what we've got. Nice, that looks pretty good. So now, as you see, if I go through frame by frame, each time the line is getting initially longer and longer, and you can see that it's overlapping. This is why you do the two frame duration, in my opinion, right? Each line that I'm drawing and redrawing kind of overlaps itself, and it gives it this like cool, messy scribble effect that you wouldn't get from a single frame because you're overlapping things. And, and to me, that looks really cool. So if I scrub through frame by frame, boom, my animation finishes, and then my animation starts to leak its way out all the way back to zero. And in real time, you get a very cool fluid kind of outline effect, scribble effect, music video scribble thing that you did yourself. Congratulations, it looks awesome, but we're not done. We can just keep adding more and more to this to make it cooler. We can add different colors. We can add different effects in different parts of the frame and it's super easy. All you have to do is click and paint. So let's say I wanna add some new colors in here. Maybe as the, the blue starts, I want red to kind of like do one counter swoop around the glasses. So I'm gonna to go to red. And I'm gonna start the same process. Cool, so now we have a counter red scribble kind of going on around the outside. And maybe I'll color in these lenses. We'll do like a yellow. And again, same process. There you go, we got some yellow scribbles now going across the lenses of the glasses. And you can even do like, if I'm saying hard times right here, I can write down hard in the glasses. So I'm kind of starting hard right there. So maybe we'll switch this and do a, uh, like an orange. There you go, now it writes out hard in the glasses just for a little bit and we have the other scribbles and all the other colors going around on the outside. So you can just keep adding and adding and adding and doing cool stuff and adding new colors and adding new animation paths and you can just keep doing whatever you want. Do whatever you want, literally. I know I've said in the past, you should probably have a plan going in, but with this effect, uh, don't have a plan. Try not having a plan and going in and just like outlining certain things, making certain things pop, use different colors, use different animation techniques, whatever you guys wanna do to make something cool. Like I said before, it's not a very technically complicated process, but it is time consuming because you are going frame by frame and that can take a while. If you don't have a mouse and you're using like a trackpad and a laptop, let me tell you, your hand is gonna cramp up very fast. The one thing I want you guys to take away from this is just have fun and don't have a plan and just use the knowledge that you learned in today's video to do your own cool thing. You can animate a little thought bubble coming out of your head or like a fake ball that's like bouncing on your hand or you can do the scribble effect, outline your glasses, literally just have fun. And don't forget to use two frame duration. Thank you, my friends. I hope you learned something today. My name is Not Even Sands, and this, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out the last video that you missed. I got a lot of good stuff on this channel, you know? If you're new, go check out some of my other videos. If you're old, wait till next video or watch some other stuff. Again. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Not Ian Sands, and I will see you guys next time.